I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to approximate acceleration with calculus. Now, acceleration is actually a very important calculus concept, and when you approximate acceleration, it really depends on what kind of function that you have as your speed function, because here's the relationship. You may be aware of the speed function already, which is s of t, but what you want to think about, of course, is the velocity function, which is v of t, which in turn is the derivative of the original speed uh, position function. Now, where acceleration comes in, as you know, is denoted by a of t, but it can be thought of uh, two ways. It can be rewritten as the derivative of the velocity function, or it can be thought of as the second derivative of the original speed function. So acceleration is the change in velocity, which is the second change in speed. So when you want to approximate acceleration, depending on the function that you have, take the second derivative of the speed function that you're given, or if you're given the velocity function, just take the derivative of it and you'll get the acceleration function. And then you can approximate depending on what kind of values um, that you have. But I'm Jimmy Chang and that's the guide on how to approximate acceleration in calculus.